Yes guys, welcome to another vintage wholesale unboxing video. Today, I'm going to be unboxing 100 printed sweatshirts. Now, a few weeks ago, I unboxed 200 of these on my YouTube channel and I got some really good pieces, but the only problem was they're classed as printed sweatshirts. I received 71 plain sweatshirts. But yeah, didn't go too well. I swear that's like 35, 40% of my order, which was wrong. Postman patched you in about half an hour, so I'm going to wait for him to drop off the parcel. I'll bring it upstairs, we'll sit down, and we'll go through them together. Heavy. Right, so we've got 100 printed sweatshirts. There's one box, presumably a 50, because there's another 50 printed ones here, which I'm going to put on the chair as well. Let me just grab that. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, oh, it's a bit cracked. Hi, I've got some sweatshirts for you to show you. To unbox. Let's unbox them together. Usually when I get these, about 50-60% is not the best or not sellable, but that's just how it is. The other pieces which I get are normally good and can sell for quite a bit, so I do make my money back. But yeah, let's just go through it. Box one or box two? You pick one. Okay, yeah, you box one. Oh, box. We'll just go box one. So first up, you have this embroidered golf one. It's a nice size as well. Is that a medium? It doesn't say, but I guess it's a medium. Nice cuffs, nice neck, and nice kind of, what I forgot what it's called around the bottom, elasticated cuff thing. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we have this H&M sweatshirt, Championship USA, and it's got a parrot on it. Is that a parrot or a toucan? That's a parrot. Yeah, H&M. Oh! This one is sick. It's a Disney one, and it's from the year I was born, so I think I'm gonna have to keep this. That's sick. Magic Kingdom, 2000. Prints in great condition as well. That looks sick. I, might, I genuinely might have to keep this because it's from a year I was born. We're three in and we've got two bangers already. I'm so happy with that. Moving on. <laughs> okay, someone will want this. It's so bad, but this will sell. This will sell on Vinted for like two pound. Okay, so we have this Haynes one, it's tiny. <laughs> it's so small. Um, it says Nauticus, the National Maritime Centre. It's, it's, it's all right, you know, it's just tiny. Okay, so we have this pretty cool Gildan one. It says Ghost Town. Someone will want it. It's got quite a lot of dog hair on though, so I'll have to give it a wash. Okay, so we've got another Haynes printed one. It's tiny. It's not too bad. The print's just really damaged. It's really cracked. Big print on the back as well, same. Cracked once again. Okay, so we've got this Morning Sun one. It's quite nice, to be fair. It's got kittens on. Morning Sun do the best double collared sweatshirts. Okay, so next up, we have this Coca-Cola one. The print's kind of faded, but it's okay. I need a drink. Okay, so next up we've got this one, it says Bar Humbug. I feel like that's a character from like a Disney thing. I'm kind of confused. Okay, so next up we have this American one. It doesn't look too good on the front, but on the back it looks amazing. So basically it says Grand Southview Hospital. And then it's got this really nice American print on the back saying EMS, which is Emergency Services. It's on a really vintage Lee tag. Okay, so next up we have this Varsity style one. It's all right, it's just a bit small and it's buttoned up, so it's, I don't know, it's not the best. I'm not too keen on the colour though, it's kind of white with like a grey detail. Okay, we have this one. It's embroidered, it says Boss Vibes only. Okay, next up we have this Orca one, it says Vancouver Island. Um, it's pretty poor condition, really thin material. Print's kind of cracked once again. You know what, at least we're not getting plain ones. It's okay. I mean, it, it could be better, but we've got some good pieces so far in comparison to the bad ones we've got. So, it's pretty even so far, which is alright. Next up we have this one. <laughs> Skeletons, not the best. Next up we have this one, it says Fitness Power. It's really bad. Okay, so next up we have this beige jerseys one. It's alright, the print's a bit cracked once again, but it's not too bad. It'll still be sellable. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. This is a plain one. It's on a tool text tag. It looks like a plain one, but if you turn it around, it's got a massive Joker print on the back. Alright, so this next one's kind of cool. It says the Notorious B.I.G. It's really poor quality. It's really thin material but it will sell, it's kind of cool. Next up we have this Paris one, it's tiny, prints faded, poor condition. Next up we have this plain Wilson Wildcats, it's tiny, really poor quality as well. I'm just not gonna be able to sell that one. I know it's kind of a sports team, but it's just not good quality at all. Okay, so next up we have this Lee collared sweatshirt, it's kind of nice, it's embroidered. Um, once again, the quality is really thin on this, which is surprising for a double collared sweatshirt. The quality of the material is normally good. Okay, so this is a t-shirt. Next up we have this one, the prints all stuck together. Don't even want to unpeel it, but 
not the best condition, it's tiny, really poor quality material. Next up we've got this plain black one, it's an outline of a car, it says Supra. Okay, next up we've got this Gildan one, it's printed, it says Speedy Ortiz. Don't know what that is, is it a program? I don't know, is it a band? Is it a Netflix series? I'll have to do some research. Right, so next up we've got this Haynes printed Marvel one. It prints alright, it's kind of faded. The only problem is, there's a paint mark at the bottom. It's a Halloween one. Another very poor quality printed one. When I say poor quality, it's extremely thin. Like, terribly thin. Like, disgustingly thin. Okay, so next up we've got this printed one. It's like a guy holding up some balloons in the shape of a dolphin. Got this LA Lakers basketball one. The print's cracked. Oh. Next up we've got this Asda one. Asda. Next up we've got this Dunlop one. It's a bit weird. Next up we've got this Sportec one. Massive print. Says Guatemala, which is Central America for those that didn't study geography. Next up we've got this like really short sleeve Kentucky one. It's just not that nice. Next up we've got this Post Malone printed Christmas one. It says Rockstar, which is one of his songs. It's got a massive printed barcode stuck on it, which I'm gonna have to get off without kind of leaving a mark. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that for later. Next up we've got this pretty nice fishing one. I quite like it, it's embroidered. It says Bass Pro Shops. Okay, so next up we've got this printed one. It says Eskimo Joe's Stillwater, okay, which is Oklahoma in America, which is a state. Print's extremely cracked. Okay, next up we've got this really nice one. It says Lazy Lizard, Madeira Beach, Florida. It's a really pale peach colored one. It's quite nice. Nice. Let's keep it. <laughs> oh, I thought this was Nike. It says Maine, which is a state. I worked in this state in 2018 at a USA summer camp. Is gonna do it? Oh my God. Oh! Oh, that is so nasty. All right, give him his $10. It was really good, really nice state. I'm gonna keep this for myself. I'm gonna bleach dye it as well. It's on a really faded fruit volume tag. This one's from 1992. Nice piece. Naughty, naughty. Okay, this one's really cool. So it says Wolfington. I survived the winter of 1994 and it is indeed on a 1994 fruit balloon tag. So it is from 1994. It's really cool. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, so next up we have this Iowa Athletic Department one. It's a really nice piece, really nice color, nice yellow print, slightly cracked, but nothing major. So I'll be able to sell it. It's on a fruit balloon tag from 1997. Nice piece. We'll keep it. Next up we have this plain H&M sweatshirt. It's not the best. Next up we have another main one. It's got the outline of a state with some printed sheep on it. Okay, this one I don't think it'll be able to sell because of the damage, but it's a really nice embroidered Snoopy one. Uh, it's, it's really nice. The only problem is the neck is like all uh, distressed and looks like it's ripped off. It's on a Snoopy tag as well. Okay, so next up we have this jerseys one. It says ABC Champions uh, Billings, Montana, which is a state in America, it's in North America, right at the top. Okay, so next up we have this Lee one. Uh, it's kind of a peach colored once again, and it's got owls on, three owls. And the final one of this box, remember we've got another like 50 to go through, so that amount in there again, we're gonna go through. But we have a Halloween one. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, that was crap. Now we're gonna go through this box. So yeah, let me just change my battery because my camera's about to die on the battery, and then we'll go through this box. I'm back, I've got another box to go through. Let's just get into it. Oh, what is that? Ugh. Okay, so we have this Lotto one, but it's on a Lee tag. Uh, it says Las Vegas, Turkey Shoot. It's a football one, or soccer as they call it over there, but we're calling it football because it's football. Idiots. What is that? Why would you want to wear that? It's one of those television things where the television goes like fuzzy or something. Is it desirable? Would you wear this? I don't know. And. Is that shit? Is that what I think it is? I think that might be shit. Okay, so next up we have this Disney one. It is on a Disney tag, so I'm gonna keep it just in case, but it's not the best. If the world was ending, you'd come over, right? All right, so next up we've got this one. It's Haynes, it says Silver Bulls. Reminds me of Christmas, because it is, I think, indeed a Christmas one. Okay, so next up we've got another Christmas one. The tag says, clothing for cool kids. So I'm an adult, so I don't think I'm allowed to wear this, or I might be arrested. Okay, so next up we've got this beautiful sweatshirt. It is not a zip-up jacket, it's not it's a sweatshirt, definitely. Next up we have this tiny Looney Tunes one, it's all right. Okay, this one's really nice. So we have a Fruit of the Loom one, Bahamas, multicolored print, um, it says Coco K. Don't know if that's the right way to pronounce it, but here you go. Oh, that's a really nice piece, happy with that, one of the best so far. Okay, so next up we have this Rose Bowl 1987 Pasadena 
California Michigan Wolverines one. The print's really cracked and it's tiny, but I'll keep it just in case because it might be quite desirable. We'll see. Next up, we have this Disney Mickey Mouse Christmas one. The tag's ripped off, so I don't know if it's actually Disney, but I'd assume so. Next up, we've got a 1987 Fruit of the Loom vintage one. It says, I believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> So do I. Next up we have this one, it's embroidered, it's quite nice. I'm not too keen on the stripes on the sleeves. Okay, so I think this is our first plain one of the day. It's not too bad considering we're like 60% through. We've only got one plain one. Okay, so next up we have this vintage jerseys printed one. It's got an animal on. Don't want to try and say what animal that is because I will get told off if it's wrong. I think it's a female lion. If not, it's a tiger. It's one of the two. Or maybe it's an elephant, we never know. Next up we have this kind of embroidered felt. Uh, what does it say, Stippy? Is that a character? I don't know, but it's poor quality. Oh, for God's sake, it's another Frozen one. Okay, so next up we have this pretty nice one. It says San Francisco, California. The print's kind of cracked once again. The printing's cracked on so many of these good ones, which is annoying. Okay, so we've got this Tooltex, best grandpa one. It's got a stain on. Any granddads out there, send me a message. You probably don't have a phone, so just knock on my door. Next up we've got this one, lots of bobbling. Okay, so next up we have this baby pink one. It says, Ya Queen Ahead, which is in Newport, Oregon. It's alright, it's not too bad. Bit of bobbling, but I'll get that off. Next up we have this Christmas one. It's got a cat on with lots of Christmas lights. This one, does anyone know anything about that? I certainly don't. Okay, so this one's kind of cool. It says Bugs Bunny. Um, it's embroidered and it's got Bugs Bunny kind of embroidered into it. You probably won't even be able to tell. I hope you can tell. Can you see the outline of Bugs Bunny? I don't know if you can. Next up we have this Spanish one. Really thin, poor material. It says Que Pasa, which means what's up, I think. <laughs> <coughs> Oh my god, all the dust and the smell, it's not that good. Let me go wash my hands. Next up we have this one. It's, it's, it feels like a t-shirt. I know it's a sweatshirt, but it feels like a t-shirt. And that just touched my mouth and it, it didn't taste nice. Okay, so next up we have this jerseys jacket. That's certainly not a sweatshirt, but I'm just building myself an outfit at this point. This one's kind of nice, let's put it on. I can't get it on. Next up we have this one, world's best mum. Next up we have this Christmas one, it says shop till you drop. Next up we have this tie-dyed one, it's kind of good to be fair. Not again. We have another frozen one. Naughty, naughty. Okay, so next up we have this one, um, on the back it says Les Mis, Les Miserables. Les, Les Miserables. Next up we've got this Gildan one, minis, little monsters, never heard of it. Not had too many good ones in this, have we? I mean we've got some alright ones, but nothing special. Next up we've got this Cincinnati Reds one. It's all right, the print's really cracked though, poor material. Next up, we've got this thin sweatshirt. It says, bring back solar, bringbacksolar.com. Shout out to you guys. Next up, we have this one. I think it's a company one. It says, Lux, and then Cotts' wool. Okay, we've got a jersey's hoodie. It says, Woodside Wildcats. It's not the best. Um, why is it a hoodie when it's only sweatshirts? Next up, we have this one. It says, CATC, Summer Youth Employment and Training Program. It's a little bit stained, can you guys tell? Next up we have this red one, it says Stanford Cardinal. Material's not really nice again. Normally with these uh, sports team and college ones, they're decent quality, but this is really poor. Next up we've got this Marvel one, it's really poor condition. Don't know what to say about it. Next up we've got another Disney one, this is Lilo and Stitch. There's Stitch, and on the back it says Out of This World. Next up we've got this Marilyn Monroe t-shirt. Really, really poor material. Next up we've got this felt Disney one. It's not on a Disney tag, it says Sunday Comics. Really don't know how to explain these at this stage, they're not the best are they? Next up we've got this one, really don't know what it is. Is it a Disney one, is it? It's not a Disney one. It says Toon Time. I know nothing about it. Um, weird material, it looks like it's inside out. What is that? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna keep it just in case. Okay, next up we have this Michigan State Russell Athletic one. Kinda nice. I'm not too keen on dark grey. Once again, the material's not the best. But it will sell. Um, yeah, the Russell Athletic tag is ripped off. And I've just realised there's a hole in the neck there where the tag's been ripped off. But I know it's Russell Athletic from the Russell Athletic logo, which is stitched onto the bottom of pretty much every Russell Athletic sweatshirt. Next up, we've got this one. Not the best. Next up, we've got this Lion Ice Cream one. It'll probably sell on Vinted, so I'll keep it just in case. Get it gone for like £2. Next up, we've got this one. It's actually from a Disney store. It says on the tag, the Disney store. It's got Winnie the Pooh embroidered on the side. I was just about to say this is another plain one and throw it, but I don't know I don't know how to pronounce the name of this, but I think it's Claws or K-A-W-S, X Peanuts. Is that like a collaboration? Because I've seen, I've seen expensive stuff with from Claws. And for our final one of 100 printed sweatshirts, we have this. It's not the best, it could be better, 
embroidered tee. It's kind of a felt material. Right, so yeah, that's it. We're done with 100 printed sweatshirts. But yeah, I think I might struggle to make my money back on these. Um, it's £180 for the 100 which is £1.80 per piece. We've not got many good ones in this. But we'll try our best to sell them and get our money back. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you think it was worth it. Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new. It's really going to help my channel grow and I can do more of these. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next unboxing video.